بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing we'll try to understand about the frequency like in the previous sections we have discussed the electromagnetic waves are generated by the wireless device and these electromagnetic waves are generally measured in frequency now what is exactly frequency frequency is nothing but the number of uh, times that particular signal is going to complete up and down in one second now if you if you just try to understand a cycle now this one cycle represents uh, the starting point let's say the starting point from here so it's going to take this and coming back to the specific same point now we call this as one cycle now no matter where you start now the complete sequence back to the same starting point we can come so generally we we say we start from uh, this particular point of course this particular point again now this is what we call a cycle so if you take this particular point this has one second now in one second it is going to complete how many cycles so this is one cycle and this is two and this is three and this is four so now which means this is completely like four cycles it is going to complete per second and that's what we call as frequency now frequency we can say the number of cycles it is going to complete uh, per second and it is uh, the the frequency is actually calculated in hertz and one hertz we can say the hertz is like the number of cycles per second so which means in this case now in this example it is going to complete four cycles so which means it is it is going to be four four hertz you can say so so technically hertz is a common commonly used frequency unit or in other words we can also say it is it's going to decide how many cycles it is going to complete per second so the wave cycle uh, per second so depending upon the 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 devices or depending upon so it can be calculated in multiple options like generally we we calculate in hertz but when when the number of cycles increases let's say it is going around 1000 or more than that then normally we represent in the form of uh, kilohertz and then megahertz and then gigahertz like that so it will vary based on wide ranges and this can be modified by denoting them depending upon the number of zeros we can add this a kilohertz megahertz or gigahertz uh, like that now again in this diagram you can see the different frequency spectrums here we can see the frequency spectrum from 0 hertz to very high this is typically called as low frequency uh, frequency ranges or the frequency spectrum and this is your very high frequency spectrum so generally the low frequency spectrum you can see these are the categories which comes sound and subsonic these are very very low to be heard by the human ear and generally audible sounds as well that comes in this range the audible audible sounds they will complete around this this many cycles per second and when you talk about high frequencies again they are they include uh, something like light uh, followed by this cosmic cosmic rays or gamma rays x rays uv rays again this is visible light comes in this in this range so this table gives you a detail the different frequency ranges we have and mainly when you talk about the wireless options we call them as the radio frequency signals now these radio frequency signals are used for different types of wireless communications in our network so these are all different types of wireless communications like low frequency radio or am radio shortwave radio or even if you take any kind of television uh, signals or fm station fm radio signals or microwave or radio radar signals now they all fall in this category in this range so 3 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz that is the range all this fall and you can see this is the complete range you can you can count from here this part and again in this when you talk about the wireless now here we are talking about wireless lan specifically Now, when you're talking about wireless LAN, again, these are the two common frequency ranges which are designated or used for the different wireless products. So, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz range and 5 gigahertz range. These are the two common 
wireless range frequencies used by most of the wireless standards which are used in your wireless products like we're taking an example of your access points or if you're using any kind of wlc's or mobile wireless connections or uh, nic's the nic is used inside the pcs or on the laptops so these all devices must be operating uh, these specific frequencies and of course in order to connect they must be operating on the same frequency band or the same uh, frequency in general. 